<laughs> you know, I was debating if I should turn the light on since it's pretty plenty bright outside, but you know what? Let's just turn the light on anyway. Because with the light on, you can see more details of my beautiful face. Anyway, my name is Mr. J3T, aka Big Sexy, aka the Kentucky Cannon, aka the World Class Badass, aka Chalk the Thunder with a Caramel Swirl, aka Black Lightning with a Peanut Butter Filling, aka the Man of the Century, aka the Houdini of Sexy, aka the Shaman of Sexy, aka. Hmm. Uh. The cream in your coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been called that in a while. Yeah, there's a lot of nicknames I haven't been called in a while. Yeah, but just know that I... Every nickname that I've called myself over <clears throat> the many over the years, they're all true. I am. I am all of those nicknames. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about Bullet Train. Bullet Train is a movie that came out uh, Friday, I believe, and it stars Brad Pitt as Ladybug. So, Brad Pitt's character, Ladybug, blah, blah, Ladybug, is a private investigator who gets assigned on this bullet train to go on this bullet train and look for a suitcase filled with money. Uh, while he's on this bullet train, a lot of, uh, all these people that are one way or another connected to the underworld in some way, shape, or form uh, are also on this bullet train, and they all want this briefcase filled with money for their own reasons. So now Brad Pitt's character, Ladybug, has to basically get out of this situation alive with all of these uh people that are reminder reminder connected to the underworld are all trying not only trying to get this suitcase but also kill him in the process and that's the story so <clears throat> the best way i can describe this story this movie is uh if you take murder on the orient express uh and you take john wick Sprinkle in a little bit of Deadpool and put in a teaspoon of, uh, hmm. put in a teaspoon of Jackie Chan style fight scenes, uh, put it all up in a blender, put it in the, in a, put it in a pan, put it in the oven for, uh, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and, come back 30 minutes later and boom you got bullet train because uh that's what this movie felt like um you got the whole ensemble cast uh which each of these characters are tied have ties with each other in one way or another uh and you got these cool action scenes that are shot wonderfully and you got some Deadpool style humor and with uh Brad Pitt's character uh he's not a f he's not really a he's not a hitman you know like i said he's a private investigator you would think that Brad Pitt's character was a hitman but he's he's not and uh he whenever he gets into a bit of a kerfuffle he just has a tendency to just grab whatever he can whatever whatever's near him and uses it to defend himself like one fight scene with uh ladybug and another character named uh lemon another character named lemon uh they're having a bit of a tussle he and, and uh when brad pitt's winning that little tussle he grabs a laptop and he just cracks it over Lemon's head, knocking it, him out. Uh, he uses the briefcase uh, on another character named the Wolf. Uh, the Wolf wants to kill Brad Pitt because of reasons, and uh, he uses the briefcase to deflect the Wolf's knife attacks. 
and basically, you know, you know what I mean, right? Uh, Jackie Chan style fights. He, how Jack, it's very much in the vein of how Jackie Chan and his fight scenes, how he would use literally anything that's near him as a weapon. It's in that same vein, and it's pretty cool. Speaking of Brad Pitt's character, I liked him a lot. Uh, he's this everyman style hero who, uh, he took a break, but now he's back in the game. He wanted to, an easy job as his first job back from his little break, and he gets more than what he bargained for on this mission, and, uh, he's likable. You know, I liked him. Uh, he doesn't take himself too seriously. Like I said, he's this everyman-style hero, which is, uh, you know, he's likable in this movie. I liked him. Uh, he had some good lines. Uh, there is this, uh, one line in particular that I liked the most is, uh, he was fighting an, uh, a female assassin that poisons people, and, uh, when he gets the upper hand, uh, he's talking to her, explaining something, and he just goes, oh, sorry, I'm mansplaining, I'm mansplaining, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that got a chuckle out of me, and it got, that got a pretty big chuckle out of the crowd that I was watching with, too. So, he's a like, he's likable, down-to-earth guy, uh, one thing I will say about him, though, is that there's this whole running theme where he thinks he has bad luck. Uh, he thinks, oh, that's just my luck. I, I just have such shitty luck. Like, all this stuff keeps happening to me. This, I, It's such bad luck. Uh, but if you watch all of everything that happens to him in this movie, that's more like good luck than bad luck. Because, like... There are some points in this movie where his character should have died, where Ladybug should have completely died, and he doesn't. <laughs> so, I don't know why he's running around saying, oh, I have such bad luck. That's, that's good luck, if you ask me. Because a moment near the end of the, of the movie, it's like, Brad Pitt's character should have died. He should have died. Ladybug should have died near the end, but, uh, he didn't, so it's, I didn't really understand that whole aspect of the movie with where he thinks he has bad luck when in reality he has some pretty damn good luck, uh, but, you know, other than that, you know, I still like this character a lot. Uh, two characters in particular, uh, there's, a uh, Lemon and Tangerine, their brothers, uh, Lemons, played by, uh, uh, the black guy from, uh, the Eternals movie, and, uh, Lemon, I, I forget, I forget his name, I apologize, uh, and Tangerine is played by, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, I believe his name is, he is the guy that played Kick-Ass, uh, they had some pretty, they played brothers in this movie, and they had some pretty funny, banter between each other. Uh, I think I liked uh, Tangerine's character the most over uh, uh, over Tanger over Lemon. I liked him the most because uh, he, he just he's just so charismatic you know he carries himself as a professional. Uh, he just has this at one point in this movie he just has this I don't I don't care attitude. And I find that pretty funny. Uh, he had a cool little tussle with Brad Pitt, which was also funny. Not funny. It was cool to watch. In fact, all the fight scenes in here are cool. Uh, I, I will say, out of all the characters in this movie, I probably liked uh, Tangerine the most. Uh, yeah, he, he was just cool. I liked him. And uh, him and... Uh, Lemon had some funny banter and good moments, and some real emotional moments too that I didn't really see coming. Cause off the of when the I saw the trailer, I thought that uh, uh, this was just gonna be you know your just a fun action movie where you just turn your brain off and have fun. But this was. This had some real emotional moments in here that I wasn't really prepared for, which, you know, that was, that was pretty cool. Uh, that was pretty unexpected. A welcome change. 
Um, the movie is very funny. You know, it, there are some good jokes in here. Uh, all the all of the actors play off of each other really well. Um, I la most of the jokes landed for me. I don't know about everybody else though. Uh, there are some cameos in here from other celebrities that I also find hilarious, but I'm not gonna spoil uh, any of the cameos for y'all. But just know that they're funny. They're pretty funny cameos. Um, now. As first and foremost, this is an action movie, and all the action is shot really well. Uh, you could tell that the actors are actually doing the action themselves. Uh, there's one moment in particular where uh, Tangerine and Ladybug are fighting each other, right? And uh, as they're fighting, this uh, attendant, this train attendant, comes. Uh, through and they just have to stop and act natural and Ladybug just goes uh, hey do you have some water and so <laughs> the lady gives him some water and Ladybug's just like oh oh I forgot my money then he just looks at Tangerine and says just go and Tangerine just looks at him like you motherfucker <laughs> just he just grabs his money and just pays the lady <laughs> so I just thought that little moment was funny uh <laughs> There's another moment with uh, Lemon and Ladybug where they're fighting, and as they're fighting, they're on the quiet train. They're on the quiet uh, S train section of the train, and as they keep making noise, the lady across from them is just a shh, and they just and they just have to pretend stop fighting and just be like, I yeah, just little moments like that. I really liked. Uh, the action was fun, and little moments, little moments of comedy like that. I liked them. I liked those moments. Uh, there was one character in here that uh, I find really annoying. It's uh, the character's name is the prince, uh, who is actually a woman, who's actually a girl. So her thing is that is the complete opposite. Of Ladybug's whole thing is that she's very lucky and this movie shows us how lucky she is when she gets out of all these situations where she should have been caught and should have died but she didn't so this movie shows you how lucky she is and that makes her narcissistic and arrogant and uh, the actress did a good job because I I really did not like this character. I really wanted to see her get her comeuppance and uh, and die. So, uh, props to the actress for not making me like that character. Uh, so, yeah, just I really did not like her. Yeah, she was she was a bitch. She was a narcissistic bitch. Like I don't know what else to say. She was she was a bitch. Um, now, near the end is where I had the biggest problem with this movie. Um, so, near the end, it kind of gets a little too CGI heavy. And throughout most of this movie, it was mostly practical. Uh, it was mo They were mostly shooting this with practical effects. Um, and of course, uh, they couldn't actually... There was one moment where... Uh, Ladybug and uh, Tangerine are dangling out the out the door way of uh, the bullet train, and uh, it's CGI because of course they can't actually do that unless unless uh, Tom Cruise is there. Because if Tom Cruise was there, he'd say, "Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's actually do this." But they're not Tom Cruise, so. I understand why they use CGI there, but near the end, it kind of gets a little leans a little too heavy in the CGI, and that kind of uh, break broke the immersion for me a little bit. Uh, there's one moment where we just see a fully CGI Brad Pitt, and it's like, uh, eh, it doesn't look the best, but yeah. So 
the CGI that's like my biggest gripe with the movie is that near the end it gets a little too leans a little too heavy in the CGI but uh, it it's not a deal breaker for me I still enjoyed the movie but yeah just they should probably should have just toned back with the CGI a little bit and also my brother kind of who I watched this movie with he kind of made a good little point is that uh, the jokes in this movie have a tendency to just run a little too long and it takes them a while to get to the punchline so even though I didn't mind the humor in this movie and I did uh, for the most part I liked the humor in this movie I will agree with him and the fact that uh, the movie's jokes can uh, have a tendency to go long and uh, to the point where it's just like, okay, like we we get it, get can you, can you get the, the blah, 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 can you get to the punchline already? So, yeah, even though, again, not a deal breaker, I still like the movie in general. It's just that, yeah, it's it's not perfect, is what I'm saying. Which leads me into my final thoughts. Overall, I really like this movie. Uh, it's a fun action movie with some entertaining characters, some fun fight scenes, uh, and a really, uh, and a, an interconnected story where each character is involved with each other in some way or another. Uh, I thought that was cool, even though at some points the story can get a little convoluted. The story is mostly pretty good to follow, but near the end when they explain how all these characters are connected into this plot, uh, it kind of goes, okay, wait, 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 slow down, what? So... Uh, it has an interconnected plot with uh, all these characters being connected in one way, shape, or form. And I, it shot beautifully. Uh, the fight scenes were no shaky cam nonsense. It was clear and precise. You could, precise, you could see everything. And yeah, it was just a pretty good movie. I give it two thumbs up with no J3T stamp of approval. Uh, I like this movie. It's a movie that I wouldn't go out of my way to go watch in the theaters again. But if it was like on Netflix or HBO Max and I got bored, I'll pop it on. I'll watch it, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's about it. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But if you really, 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 and I mean really, really like me, then consider subscribing and ring that bell so you always know whatever I upload because it is free. It is free. Don't be a dum-dum. Subscribe today. Deuces.